streets paved with gold. Welcome to a new edition of In the Kitchen with Brother Zach. Today we're going to be making candy yams from scratch. And for that, we're going to need our candy yams, which I've already cut up and washed off. I'm going to need some cinnamon. You can use nutmeg as well, but I don't have any nutmeg and I'm not going out to buy any. We're going to use about two cups of granulated sugar because I normally use it like a cup of uh, granulated sugar and one cup of uh, brown sugar. But I, again, I'm not running out to get that. I'm just going to use what I got and it's still going to be good. So let me bring the camera down so you can see where I'm doing it. Real simple. So in my skillet over here, I got some water. A little bit of water. Oh, I forgot we're going to need some butter as well. I need some butter, which I got some margarine. I got some water already in my little skillet. Add my potatoes. This is real simple, uh, easy recipe as well. Not hard at all. Add a little bit more water to that. Save <laughs> my soul. I'm gonna put our first cup in. And we're gonna add another cup. I wish I did have some brown sugar, but I don't feel like running through Walmart for that. He saved my soul. Number, number. Probably gonna put all of this in there. Almost a half a stick. I'm gonna put that whole thing in there. And then we're going to put our cinnamon on. I don't want to overdo it with the cinnamon. I kind of wish I did have some nutmeg. My grandmother used to use nutmeg and cinnamon. So we don't want to over cinnamon it. And then we're going to put the top of our lid on and let that cook on a medium to low heat until this the, uh, potatoes are pork tender. I'll be back when they um just to show you guys after them took about 10 minutes what it's looking like. All right, I'm back. I just want to show you folks what, uh, what we got going on here. Everything is starting to be tender and soften up. Um, there's still some a lot of liquid in here, but it's not mostly water. It's because of the uh, sugar caramelizing. But it's pretty much almost pretty much done. Close to the camera so y'all can see. Your steps will be ordered. Wow. Candy Jams 101. thicker so those thicker pieces of the ones are not quite all the way tender all the way through but they will be all right we'll be back folks with our taste tester on standby all right i am back folks i got my taste tester on standby and i'm eagerly awaiting her initial reaction all right have at it What's wrong? Oh, it's good. What is wrong? It was, it was hot. I like, told you it was hot. I, I thought I blew it off for that. The potatoes good. are really, really hot. 
Yeah, it's really hot. Really hot. Is it cooled off a little bit more? Yeah, it's good. Okay. All right, folks, you heard it here first. I told her it was hot before she fit into it. You know those potatoes can be really, really hot if you don't blow them off pretty good. So, folks, that's our show for today. Um, Candy Yams 101, real simple and easy, really, really quick. You know what I'm saying? So next time, be on the lookout for something delicious. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing next, but I'm going to come up with something delicious. So next time, go love on somebody. Remember, it's always better to be a blessing than to receive a blessing. I always like to say that. Till next time, folks. Shalom and peace. Take us out of here. Storm, haste to the fire, and all praise to his son. Hey, we done been through the storm.